Well, hey guys and gals, welcome part back to part six here on the uh, Swedish Touch. Um, just basically taking off from where I left the last time. What you'll notice, I have done with the field that we harvested. I've I've plowed it and uh, done a wee level of fertilizer and then put some uh, some lime down on it. I'm just taking the last of the bales down off the field here to the to the sheep pen. Um, yeah, well. Farming's definitely brought us a, a nice chunk of change. Um, we'll have to do some more of it. Um, as I say, farming is going to be basically a way of making money. The main emphasis here is still going to be uh, logging with a bit of uh, animal work. Um, I do want to do some cows as well on this map. and I have... Um, two ideas for the map. I can either use the species mod, uh, the variable anim animal species mod that we are using with the sheep, or I have downloaded another mod called Cattle Breeds, which will basically take our cattle and uh, give them proper names like Angus and etc etc, but it will change them from being, well some of them from being dairy cows into just beef cows, um, which don't give us milk. Um, do have a slightly faster reproduction rate? But I think that could be fun. It's a new angle to the game. I know in, uh, well, I believe in Switzerland it's very heavy and dirty um, when it comes to cattle. Um, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you fancy. Do you fancy doing um, having a beef farm or another dairy farm? Um, I did go ahead and buy another one of the DMIs. Uh, basically, reason being was because uh, I was using the first one for grain work. Another thing I did was I went ahead and I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but um, thinking back on how long it took me to get rid of some of the non, you know, the, the trees that's uh, not able to cut down with the Scorpion King, like the big oaks and stuff. Um, and, and bear in mind, it took me about, about nearly enough half an hour to get rid of one of them. Um, I went ahead and got rid of the ones that I needed rid of. Well, I didn't need rid of, but took them out with the Brooks chipper. Just hired it. And the second DMI was just there to catch the chips. That was all. Um, oh, I don't need to take you back up here, do I? What I'm going to do today, then, guys, is... First of all, I'm going to go and uh, hire some sort of seeder. And I'm going to go ahead and get this field seeded up. Um, then, I have a few bits, of, few bits and pieces of trees down along the front here to take out. Because the harvester gets stuck in them. So we'll get our Scorpion King. And we'll get down onto that. Ah, uh, there's a tree I missed with the bricks. Oops. Um, if I really need to, I can rehire it. That's what's left of the lime and some of the seeds was left up at the top of the field there. Um, when we did the grass field, you can tell which did the, uh, which machine did the lime work, can't you? I am um, quite honestly think that that uh, real dirt mod is fantastic. It is throwing up some errors in the log, but nothing, nothing game breaking. Um. I have asked um, the Master Jedi Modder Godder about it. He said it's okay to leave it in. Um, the errors won't do anything um, harmful to the game. So uh, thanks for that one, Sergeant Schultz, or the Jedi Master Modder Godder. Um, it's been greatly appreciated, your input again. Um, my go-to man for asking questions about mods. <coughs> and maps, apparently. But I'll explain that one in the release of Glen Isla tomorrow. Um, let's go ahead then and uh, let's look at a cedar. Oh yeah, the reason why that was on the sculpting bit there guys whenever I went into the shop. Um, I was testing out this new 1.3 patch here on um, Swiss Touch. Uh, especially the part that grows the grass. Uh, I know it doesn't work on Glen Isla. And it doesn't work on this map either so we won't be able to uh, you know, take the areas like this here and, and put the grass back on them. Um, Unless we do the grass mod, which I do have, but that'll cost us a, a fortune. Where is it? Um, I think it's under miscellaneous. Let's have a peek. Uh, no, it's not. Under, oh, it must be under de decoration. There, yeah, the grass patch mod. Um, basically, what that does is, uh, by getting closer, I'll just put it here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, you place that down. It places grass. Hold on, let me go back up to there. 
That costs us two dollars, pounds, whatever you want to say. It, it places grass underneath this this drum thing here, and then basically what we do is we go into the uh, garage, and we'll go the whole way across until we find out where the there's there, and we just sell that again, and it leaves the grass behind. And this grass is then cut up. You know, you, you can cut this grass. Um, whether I want to go ahead and just do that around the outside of that, is it worth the time and worth the effort? Um, don't know guys, you tell me what you think. Is it worth the time and effort to do it? I'm not 100% sure it is. It's, it's decorative more than anything because we're not going to be cutting it. It'd be different if it was a big, you know, we sold the sheep pen up here and it left behind a big area like that there. We could, you know, I don't know. We're not selling the sheep pen anyway. So let's go ahead and look at cedars then. Excuse me. Um, cedar. Just gonna go ahead with cedars, guys. Um, I don't want anything too big because we don't have, you know, we're having trouble pulling the small stuff as it is. Maybe the Great Plains? It does all the grain crops, so. And it's only gonna cost us 1,632 to lease. Yeah, why not? We'll try it and see. Hopefully it'll not slow down the uh, the tractors too much. So let's go ahead. We're gonna let Oh, engine was running. We're gonna get you to do the seeding job for us, man. You have more than enough horsepower for this thing. More than enough. So I have two bags of seeds up there. And this takes fertilizer as well. We do we still have some fertilizer up there? I think I do. Maybe I don't. Hold on, let me just. Before we leave the shop, it's quicker to run up, isn't it? Uh, calc. Seeds, seeds. No. Um. We'll maybe buy a, a pallet of fertilizer while we're here. So go back into the shop. Big bags. Uh, solid bag of. Yeah, one of those. And let's see uh, how much that fills that. Where does it come up? Right behind me, I bet you. Yeah, there you go. Oh, fills it. Um, the seeds we'll get from up here. Um, crop we're gonna do, I'm not sure. Um, we'll have a look in the, uh, the store and see if we can sell them well at the minute. Beans and canola are always a good income. Uh, soybeans and canola. Um, probably just go with soybeans and canola, actually. Just back that down there where we can get some uh, seeds. Get it filled. Okay. And, uh, we're going to field. On this map, again, Gunner's going to love this because it's course play time. Uh, what did I name this? Was this field 2? So, seed and fertilization. Up and down, field number two user, three meter, so it's going to be at it for a while. Um, from here, why not? I'm going to do five headlands, guys, because of the way the trees are sitting at the minute. Just to give it a chance to turn. So, let's generate that course there. I feel we're going to need to refill this sewer many times. So, oh, Let's just go ahead and uh, from the first waypoint then, Please drive the course. And there we go. We're now, uh... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop. You muppet. I'm talking about me. Um, in console, you know, to sow canola, you need to select it. Uh, canola... Canola beans. Canola beans. Beans are probably worth more. So go ahead and drive that now, please. Hopefully that will, uh... We saw that. Why are you missing so much? Oh, we're back in there now, okay. Anyway. Leave it to it. Do me proud. Soybeans. Down to the first bit. Let's test this out. Yeah, soybeans. Yeah, it did. Uh, excuse me, one second. Sneeze time.
Sorry about that, guys. Um, right, where were we? So we sold the wool off the last time. Um, I believe there was a, 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 a reply to a question I asked. We'll get round to the, the comments section there in a second. Um, the bales I've just stuck here for the time being. Sheep should be okay for the moment. Yeah, plenty there, plenty. Um, what I did have a problem with that when I was feeding the sheep here, I was putting the bales in. I just kept on putting bales in. I thought, God, these sheep are hungry. And then when I looked, I'd maxed out the feed trough. Now, even though it said it maxed out, I, I thought to myself, do you know what, I'm going to try this again. So I put another bale in, it disappeared, but the, the figures didn't go up. It still said it's something like 3,000 litres, was or three whatever it was. So, don't exactly know what happened to my bales. Oh well. Uh, so we must have used maybe three or four bales that you know we didn't need to use. Right. Back to the Scorpion King. Let's just bounce around. Um, this is our, our harvest. I've just abandoned it in someone's driveway. Oops. You're going well. And there's our Scorpion King here. Right. The reason I am uh, going ahead and cut the trees down there is this field. Because I had a nightmare with the harvester sticking on the trees. In hindsight, I probably should have put um, more headlands on the harvester. Um, yeah. You have to forgive me, guys. I'm coming down with a bit of a cold, so if, if I do go quiet for a few seconds, I've just muted my mic so I could um, sneeze or cough or something. Probably should have folded that in a bit before I brought it down here. Uh, where am I going? Can't get up to that down there. Alright, so guys, just while we're moving down, let's, ha let's have a look at some of the comments here. Uh, Magnus Olsen was saying, um, Fun to hear you pronounce the Swedish name. Great video as always. Well, thank you, Magnus. Um, I believe you're, you're thinking you're talking about uh, Gunnar. Uh, Gunnar. Um, I'm still not going to try the surname because I will, I will absolutely murder it. Um, I replied to, to Magnus there that, uh, you know, um, what's it say, um, I have a hard time pronouncing the dog name sometimes, which is um, from Scandinavia, it's uh, Mjolnir, which for anybody that doesn't know it's the name of Thor's hammer. Um, now, Magnus did reply back to me and uh, he basically told me how to uh, spell the name properly in Swedish. Magnus, um, if you don't read the comments before uh, you see the video, I uh, actually do spell the dog's name the way you typed it. I just don't know how to do the, the wee dot things above the uh, above the name on the PC. Uh, but yeah, Mjolnir, Mjolnir does get spelled with uh, the wee double dot things. Um, basically, I used to work in a hotel and I, um, I questioned a lot of uh, people from Scandinavia about the pronunciation of the name. Um, to make sure I was doing it right as well. And luckily I did because I was pronouncing it wrong. Um, so there you go. Uh, let's see, scroll down here. Uh, Nolan Carl was saying, not sure, but are both fields the same crop? Oh well, we will see. Oh really, I guess we will not. Um, <laughs> yes, Nolan, both, uh, both fields were different crops. But basically, with me being lazy and not wanting to, you know, do two different, um, I would have had to create the field boundary for course play to, to recognize two different fields by driving around it. Um, for some reason, the map author here has created both the, the, this, well, what was those two fields, because I've joined them together, but he had uh, created both of them, um, I think it's in the same field boundary. So, uh, course play was recognising both fields as one field. Oh, I can't get that one. Uh, but so, yeah, I let course play run its course. And um, the first one it touched was the beans. Uh, I let it go ahead and I let it cut down the beans. And then what I did was, um, once it had beans in the, the hopper, it didn't recognise the uh, barley, I think it was, it was on that um, field. Uh, so it went ahead and harvested all of the beans. Then I just went ahead and um, 
Round the course the second time, starting it further down a bit. And uh, harvested the, I think it was barley. Harvested the barley then, and it harvested it no problem. Uh, unfortunately, you know, trying to keep this in the sort of the half hour slot, it's, if you're going to put everything in, you know, the videos will be a couple of hours long. Um, but I appreciate the, 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 you don't get to see some of what goes on in here. Uh, Nolan was also saying the pure, uh, you blame the, oh, here we go. You blame the poor John Deere for what course play is clearly doing and it's responding to what you have done. As usual, you have drove right into it head first and you, <laughs> well, you see the results. I, no, no, I, ha I have to say that course play has never derped up. Course play has never derped up. Uh, probably one of the best mods out there. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, no mistakes whatsoever. It works 100% of the time. Yeah, right. Uh, so therefore, it has to be the uh, nasty green was the problem. If I had added Joanna Deer on that now, there wouldn't have been any problems. Just putting that out there. Why I'm putting them on the road like this, guys, is because um, if I bring them down any further, it will. Uh, I'll have to go and collect them out of people's gardens. She have took that one down with the brooks while I had it. Anyway, well, at least I went ahead and I, I told you the truth that I brought a brooks in the uh, after said I wasn't going to. <laughs> Uh, let's scroll down. I can see another one from Nolan coming up. Okay. Uh, I have to add to Ryan Clark's comment below. Uh, as, as a major correction to it. First, Thomas has a very bad habit of picking the worst mods available. Um, he seems to be drawn to them. Second, most PC mods are good. Thomas's choices are very, very bad. PC Master Race is doing just fine, even with Thomas writing our coattails. Ah, now, I will, I will point out a few mistakes to this statement. Though. I don't write on coattails. I am superior to the Master Race. I have proved this. Out of the three competitions so far, I have won two. First one being on the uh, the Xbox, the second one on the, the PC on Welker's Farms. I think I'm superior to your Master Race, and... Uh, he says as he crashes the uh, scorpion king. So we're going to have to drop this one here. Stay. Uh, Ryan's comment. I uh, will get. Oh, we'll have to scroll down to that one. Um, I believe Ryan was commenting on the uh, bad PC mods. Uh there is, um, I think, not trying to defend, you know, um, consoles or mods or, you know, anything like that, guys. I think what has to be said is, you know, on the PC side of things here, you know, I can go down, go ahead and download a numerous amount of mods from any number of sites. The console get theirs through Giants, which is not 100% right 100% of the time because you do, do still get some dodgy mods and I believe, you know, Ryan will even agree with me here on that part. You know, um, you, do, you do still get some dodgy mods on the console. But I think that it's the freedom of, you know, the mod authors to be able to put what they want up on the sites is the problem. You know, no, non-tested mods. Um, of which I would say, guys, um, I do have a link in my latest Glen Isla video, which was released, well, if you're watching this, it'll be yesterday, um, to the Busters Facebook group, and you will be able to go there and download the likes of, um, you know, join up, uh, and you'll be um, able to go and have a look at the, uh, the R4045 and whatnot from the Busters community that I use on Glen Isla and whatnot. You know, go ahead and check that out. Um, all of um, Nolan's handi handiwork. The guy's fantastic, and very fastidious in what he does as well. But enough of that, don't want to give him too big of a head. The tractor's getting on well there. Um, yeah, so there is 
the opportunity on the PC to download bad mods, as, as Nolan was pointing out, I just am unlucky enough to not be able to find good things of what I'm looking for lately. Um, again, I have went and um, no wrong menu. I have went ahead and uh, forestry found another version of the uh, John Deere skitter. I've also went ahead, guys, and, and I've, I've looked at some of the FDR stuff as well. I'm, I've never really used their mods. Um, sometimes, you know, it's the FDR loader, that log and skitter as well. We're going to, you know, try maybe again. Um, to me, they're, they're, I don't know, man. I'm a bit sort of meh sometimes about using the FDR. Um, anytime I've seen it in 17. I haven't used them in 19 right now, but sometimes I thought they were a bit blocky. Um, I'm not saying that they're not good mods. Uh, I don't know. I'll, we'll, we'll give them a try. We'll, we'll, we'll clear. We'll clear all opinion from the past. And um, and where am I going? Up here. We'll clear all opinions from the past, and we'll, we'll start with a fresh mind. We'll try the FDR mods. There's two uh, two tree processors there. There's a, a log and trailer, and again the skitter. We'll try it out. Um, Give it a give it a fresh crush, a fresh go what? Uh let's see. Um There's Gunner himself was uh commenting. Um when you lift something with the lift mod, then use the middle mouse key to levy angle stuff. Uh and nope the name is pretty correct. Oh god I'm getting something nice. Um he's also saying that nice I'm so dependent on CP now CP now it is course play. Um, I guess I'll try to map it soon. Yeah, um, it's a very challenging map, I will give you that. Um, and I think what you have to realise, Gunnar, and I'm exactly the same, is, you know, I've got used to course play now. Um, at the start I really missed it. It's not 100% perfect, you know, it's still in development mode. There's no other way of putting it, it's, 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 you know, developer version still. Which reminds me, I have to go and have a look and see if there's any updates. But, um, you know, there's still a lot of problems with it. It's not 100%. And, um, you know, I think on that comment, you know, when we get used to course play, it's almost like course play becomes a crutch for us. You know, we base our game around course play. And I'm, I'm as guilty of it as the next guy. But I, I do the same thing. I mean, there you go. I mean, I could be out seeding that field at the minute with uh, that GPS mod thing. And, um, one of the reasons I, I don't even have it um, activated on this map, actually. Um, I think I preferred the version that was there in 17. I don't, don't especially like the, the GPS inside at the moment. Um, and from what I understand, it's, it, I, I don't believe we're going to see that version coming out either, unfortunately. Um, I, I believe that the guy that made that GPS version is now working for Catalan Crops. Um, so, yeah. Well, I never really used GPS too much anyway. It's to say, Magnus, I'm exactly the same boat as you. If it could be done by course play, course play done it. But, you know, I am um, trying to get some more things done myself at the moment too. I mean, trying to uh, trying to do more things myself. Um, yeah, I think we'd better take these ones up and then back to them. They're awkwardly placed. Ah, so dear, who cares if we bang it in the other post? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so there you go, Magnus. Um, after that run, I agree with you. Force play, we become very dependent on it. Um, which is why when I go into multiplayer, I'm sort of like, oh, I have to do this myself. Um, in saying that, though, I can't wait for course play to come out with the rest of the, uh, the, the modes on it. Because, uh, uh, you'll see it in tomorrow's uh, Glen Isla video where um, I went ahead and leveled the bunker. No, I haven't. You know, it's nowhere near ready for uh, um, you know uh, covering it yet. But it took me forever to uh, you know to level the bunker, and it's something that I let course play do without even thinking about it in 17. So I am really missing that mode of course play. Um, okay, Ryan Clark was saying uh, you should have used the New Holland TC590 and start off the as a start off combine. Um, <coughs> T 
TC 590. Uh, let's just have a rundown. TC 590. I've used loads of times, Ryan. Um, this to me was just something I never had before. TC 590. I mean, we, we, I believe that was the, you know, one of the smaller combines from 15 through as well. Um, nothing wrong with it. It's a, you know, it's, a, it's an RAV combine, but I just want to do something different for a change. Um, to be honest with you. I, you know, I haven't even really used the Massey Ferguson stuff yet, um, including the tractors, and you know that's unusual for me because I use Massey for everything in the last game. Um, although I'd said that I have been lucky enough to find some nice class mods early on in this game to use on the other series. Still looking for more though. I am. Um, if anybody knows of. Uh, a working saddle track please let me know because I'd love to find one yeah right tell me what we're going to do you're done seating this bottom oh you're done seating this bottom bit we'll just get this right I'm going to put these here like this I'll start to be piled up here just to grab quicker Again, guys, I mean, I'm going out there looking for mods for, for forestry, um, as you can see with the Tiger, you know, the, the FDR mods and whatnot there. Um, again, as I say, I'm going to come out with a fresh mind them for, for 19 and have a look. Um, I didn't really use them in 19, or 17, sorry. I um, I don't know, it's... It, it just didn't, there weren't... Where my cup of tea in 17? Put it like that. Um... Uh, not there's anything wrong because I know that FDR has a lot of uh, a lot of fans of his equipment. But I said you have fresh mind, fresh start, F fresh game. Even. Um, so yeah. But in reply to that round, just uh, you know, going the long way around it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just for something fresh. That's that's being honest. Uh, let's see, uh, you were also saying, oh, more PC mods that don't work. Roll on the floor laughing. Uh, So-called PC Master Race. And I believe that's in the one that no one has replied to. Um, about my choice of mods and whatnot. Which is true, guys. I mean, I, if I see something that I quite, look quite like, I'll go and I'll download it and then um, test it out. And there's tonight their... Uh, with the, the, the patch uh, Glen Isla had broke and, and no one had went through my log and kind of scolded me for uh, you know all the good mods anyway um, <laughs> I would be able to lift this one by hand in real life wouldn't I? yeah but yeah there's a lot of junk out there and anyway Let's see, go on then. Uh, we're running short in time. So, Kyle Neeson was saying, uh, also, how do you know which fields you own without the numbers on them? Well, at the minute, Kyle, we only have like the two fields, um, so it's pretty easy to remember. But I'm sure once we get uh, up and going, the easiest way is just going to be go into the menu, menu, go to the map, and just hit the, uh, oh, go to the map and just hit the, uh, the buy icon thing. And that way we'll see where they are. Uh, let's scroll down and see if we can get some more. Uh. Okay, Kyle Neeson was also scolding me. Is that a John Deere telehandler? Um, shame on Thomas. Uh, turning to the dark side. Uh, Kyle, you know, as I said there, I've said it before um, in, in some of the previous episodes. Yeah, I'm not really a big. F well, I wasn't. Not really a big fan of logging. Not my most favourite thing to do. I'm doing it just for a change, to be honest. Um, as I say, it's not something I would gradually do. I know we've done it in the competitions and whatnot, but um, I wouldn't go out of my way to, to actually log like this, like we are doing on this map. Uh, so I thought, you know what? If we're going to log, we might as well log with uh, equipment I don't like. <laughs> and uh, that's where these come in. 
And um, plus as well, I mean, there's a lot of the John Deere fans out there, and I know a lot of the John Deere fans on uh, the R.D. Allen server don't have some of the mods I have for John Deere. So it's great to rub that in. Uh, for example, the uh, cotton harvester from yesterday's episode on uh, Glen Isla. Uh, yeah, not very many had that. <laughs> the console got it, your, you know, your John Deere stuff before you. Tut tut on you. Hard darn the console will get it before me. <laughs> Again, guys, it's just... Um, I would, uh, you know, as a you know, morning routine, maybe... Know, get the dog ready, get him you know, breakfast, fed, out for the W word, which I can't say because he's standing here right beside me or sleeping here right beside me. And um you know, come in, have a cup of coffee, sit and uh, ooh, look at the tired of myself pretty good. Um come in, have my cup of coffee, browse through the mall sites. Um I have a few favourite ones to go to, uh, PCSG which is where the Glen Island map is. Uh, you know, I can't remember the name of it now, but there's a Swedish website which is where the uh, the 548 John Deere loader came from. And, you know, um, some of these places are absolutely fantastic for finding some stuff that you know a lot of people don't have out there. What's well, going on? Oh, look at you! There always has to be one. I come along later on guys and what I'll do is I'll basically push these all up against the back support um, where I get them in the knee pile early is I'll push them all up against the back support and then I'll come along later on with a uh, the winch or something and just uh, uh, well that one didn't come too well just straighten them up uh, yes Jacob Murphy uh, that's what I was referring to earlier on um, well, last episode I posed the question out there when I was selling the wool um, you know I remember the sheep um, pallets here being 4,000 litres I think there were 4,000 litres in FS17 now it shows you how much I've worked with sheep so far but we sold this in the last episode we were getting uh, 1,800 and something per, per thousand litres so when a pallet went, all I got was 1,800 and something. And I was like, whoa, hold on a minute, that's not right. But Jacob was saying there, uh, Jan sure nerfed the sheep in the game. Will is pretty worthless now. Um, yeah, it is. Uh, who was saying? Yes, he was also saying, yep, uh, the pallets used to be 4,000, but they changed to 1,000 litres per pallet. Which, come on, guys, I mean... What's the point in putting a, you know, you've, you've changed it down too much, you know. Sheep used to be a nice wee earner. Now, granted, we're using the variable species mod here. So we are getting a wee bit more for our sheep, but, you know. Oh, hey! Looking at the time. Just a quick thank you to all the new subscribers out there. Um, thank you to all the guys that comment. And, you know, keep your comments coming through with your, your suggestions, you know, anything you want to see. Give me some ideas as well. I mean, because there's only so much I can do logging and farming. Um, maybe there's something you want to see me doing. Hopefully this 1.3 patch out has released a few more scripts so we can get a few more nice, you know, imaginative stuff in the game. And, uh, yeah. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to like and share the video. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead. And I'll catch us all then tomorrow on uh, Glen Isla. But for me and my console from now, I'm going to say night-night.